because my point was you sure, sure don't want to crash though with nine laps to go because that'll put you down at about 14th position and you lose the title. Oh, absolutely. But while these guys are battling back there, they've given. Uh, oh, you know, Chiaponi! Oh. His engine let go. Tough, tough break. Three Damn laps it. to go for Felipe. The kid had run one heck of a race, and uh, it's a tough, tough break for him as he's down off the racing surface. But, uh, you know, he, it's too bad when Whoa. he's that good of a race. And that is a big puff of smoke. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. We've only got two laps to go. As a matter of fact, Jacques Lazier is coming down next time to complete lap number 199. And so far, no caution from the IRL officials, although Cheever is driving through a huge smoke well, screen down there. This is an historic day for the Indy Racing League. Jacques Lazier is about to win his first Indy Racing League event, and Sam Hornish is about to win the title and become the youngest champion ever in Major League Open Wheel Racing. Here's the checkered flag, and Jacques Lazier wins at Chicagoland, and Sam Hornish Jr. is the champion for 2001. Youngest champion in IRL history, right, Bob? That is correct. Unfortunately, we can only listen to one radio at a time. You wonder what everybody else is saying. While well, we listen to Carter, and they pass under the white flag. Just about a foot that time. Paul, there's not a spectator in these stands today that is sitting down right now. Two by two, the front four. The field all tightly bunched together. Heading into turn three. Oh! Look on the final lap. Now Buddy Lazier comes up to take a look to the inside. And Unser Jr. and Hornish go to the line side by side. Unofficially, it's Hornish who takes the win. Oh boy, it was amazingly close. Hornish with his seventh career win and at 24 thousandths of a second. Look at that, right there at 24 thousandths. What is it, three inches? That is amazing. He wins from the pole, Paul. What a great weekend for Panther Racing. White flag is out. The entire crowd on its feet at Chicagoland Speedway. Sam Hornish Jr. is nosed in front by a half a car length, but Herta has the inside line off of turn number two. It will be Herta by half a car length. Now stay side by side to the exit to the back straightaway. Sam Hornish Jr. trying to get the advantage on Herta. They are dead even. Now Hornish starts to pull in front. They set up for turn number four. Mike, who's going to win it? It's a near carbon copy of last year's race. Herta will go to the high side. to three wide. Here it is again. Here's how they come into three, Scotty. As you can see on the very underside, what a ride that was. Remember we had last oh year with Buddy Rice getting airborne coming out of turn two when they touched wheels. And here's the situation. Briscoe going underneath. Oh Barron trying to come word. down on the racetrack. They both are going for the same piece of real estate. And what ends up happening is those rubber tires touch, and then all of a sudden the car starts to go in the air. Remember, we're going 215 miles an hour. Look at all the debris that's going all around the racetrack. This will be a long cleanup time. Weldon keeps the low line, and here comes Tony Kanaan on the inside. Smart team movement by Team Penske right now. They're going around the high side the longer way. Will the drafting work and overpower the Honda power that's on the low line? We'll have to see. Chicago breeds close finishes, and they are going to make it yet another one. It's welded on the inside. Castro Nemes on the outside. Somebody wake the queen, because Dan Weldon just walked away with the checkered flag. That was unbelievable. The pride of the UK racing community has done it again. Dan Weldon picks up his sixth victory on the year. Dixon's not going to give up. Dixon's still going to try on this last lap to get this uh, top spot away from his teammate. It looks like the fast part of the racetrack has moved up, and Dixon just can't get enough of a run out there. And Weldon wants to win bad enough that he's using up a whole lot of racetrack. There it is. So Hornish takes the championship. Coming to the white flag. One lap to go this time by the championship at stake.
Who's going to get it? Will it be Scott Dixon from New Zealand or this year's Indy 500 winner, Dario Franchini from Scotland? Down the backstretch for the final time. Dixon in control. Into three. If Dario has a oh, he's going up. And Dixon's out of fuel. Dixon is out of fuel. Dario Franchini's going to win the race and the championship. That gentleman you saw was Dario's father, George. That's him right there. There is Scott Dixon out of fuel in turn number one. Here they come off the fourth corner. One lap to determine who's going to win here at Chicagoland. And there goes Leyendijk to the low side of Matos. And here comes Anna right behind him. Leyendijk has a lead. This is where it gets tough. Look at this. Ooh. Oh, they almost touched. There's Anna looking. She's She is by Rafa right now. Can she hold that? Is Leyendijk going to be able to get his win finally in the Firestone Indy Light Series? He has the lead as the field comes out of quarter number four. Looks like he's going to do it. At Chicagoland Speedway, Ari Leyendijk Jr. finally gets it done in the Firestone Indy Light Series. How about that? Anna Beatrice second, Matos was third. Wilson and Davidson, your top five. The white flag is out. The crowd is on its feet here at Chicago Land Speedway. They're side by side. Dixon on the low side. Kessler Evans on the high side. Mark James are going to head to turn number two. Locked with those wheels side by side as they hit in the back straight. Can Elio get a push from Ryan Briscoe? Briscoe tucked right up behind him. Literally trying to shove Elio into victory lane for the final time. They're in a turn number four. Dixon on the inside. Elio on the outside. His teammate right behind him. Here they come to the line. It's going to be Dixon, is it? And oh my goodness, we're looking at the replay. Elio clearly. knows and beat him across the line. Clearly this is going to be race. overturned. Yeah, it clearly won the race. He is the winner of this race. But either way, Scott Dixon is the winner of the 2008 IndyCar Series title. All right, here it is. It's do or die here as the final lap at the Chicago Land 100 set to be run. Prendeville runs in third. Prendeville making a move to the bottom here. That was a great move. So Let's see Prendiv if he can keep it stick. Oh, I don't think he can. He got too much undersea there, had to back off. So it looks like Harrington is doing pretty good here. He's doing everything he needs to do to make this win. Daniel Harrington has never run in Firestone Indy Lights competition. Took over the lead on lap 42. Here we come off of turn number four for the final time. To the line, it's going to be Daniel Harrington. He will win his first race in Firestone Indy Light Series competition. High fives all around. Brian Herta and Steve Dewey have taken this first year team to victory lane. What a race we saw as Daniel Harrington and James Davison put on a great show. White flag, one more tour of the one and a half miles at Chicagoland Speedway and Briscoe leads by a foot or so. But now what Briscoe wants to do, he wants to maintain that position on the high side and hopefully get a run off of four. And he's getting help from Marias. Mario Marias comes back. Jimmy Vassar said the car wasn't as fast, but now it's fast. He's helping them and he's got momentum. Not enough to get up on that high Meanwhile, side. they're four wide behind. Here comes the win, and who is it going to be? Briscoe. Briscoe has the advantage, and he gets the win. Oh, man. White flag is out. And Hinchcliffe is in front at the line by two one-hundredths of a second. But now Pippa Man to the low side is back in front through two. The front four are side by side in rows of two. Hinchcliffe will edge back in front. He's on the high line. Pippa Man on the low line. Coming around three. Hinchcliffe by a quarter of a car length. Mark, they're side by side coming through turn number four. Another photo finish at Chicago Land Speedway. Pippa Man, James Hinchcliffe knows the tail of the start finish line, and it looks like James Hinchcliffe's going to win it. Hinchcliffe's going to win it. James Hinchcliffe, a winner and an exciting finish here at Chicago Land Speedway. How do you how do you put yourself in that position when you are in the championship oh, points? Unbelievable! Oh. Wow. This well, is, at least he did not run out of fuel. He brought it in, but that, still, still, he's coming oh. under green conditions. No, he's but cooked. See, from a safety standpoint. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Great I, news. Yeah. From I wasn't a, from a championship that. standpoint. That is. But major implications, perhaps, in the point championship as the leader comes in.
leaving the battle on the racetrack to 13 others. Wow, the point swing here with Frankini in the lead and power having to fuel. And it's not over. Here comes Weldon. Dan Weldon, as we mentioned, finished second in Indianapolis. That's where he's running now. Marco Andretti looks to the high side. They come off of corner number four. Let's see who wins it. It's going to be Dario Franchitti winning with right. Dan right. Weldon Thank second God. and Marco Andretti third. Way to go, my man. Great job, man. Great job. <laughs> Well, Dario needed the victory to come closer to the championship, and he also needed Will Power to lose points, and that is exactly what happened here tonight.